Welcome to another Baggage Minute, plus or minus a second. I'm here with Melissa B. Arabian, who is actually a writer, has a great book here, $10 Dinners. That's me, but we're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about a very serious subject, and she is here in Washington talking about suicide prevention, our first aid, mental health first aid uh, legislation, all the things that are important, as we know, in Alaska, we have huge issues with suicide, mm -hmm. but really around the country. So I'm glad you're here. Thank you for speaking to the spouses of senators and other people today about this very important issue, but please well, tell me. Thank you so much for having me. And I, I lost my own mom to suicide 25 years ago. Yes. Um, and certainly the landscape has changed, but we need to raise the volume on this conversation. Right now the conversation is being held in whispers. Mm -hmm. And I think that we need to raise that volume and have a loud conversation, something that says loud and clear, we care about you, you count. And we can prevent suicide. And I I think to do that, we need to deal with stigma on the entire life cycle of suicide, from you know, from alcohol and, and drug abuse to depression, mental health. Absolutely. Ninety percent of people who die by suicide have a treatable mental illness or other diagnosis. So we can do something about it. That's what's so amazing about it. It is preventable if we keep mm -hmm. focused on the resources, the research, making sure we have good issues out there on mental health in regards to mental health first aid doing the investment we need to make with the National Institute of Health, doing better understanding. So thank you for what you're doing and your thank own you. personal experiences are critical to help more people understand this important issue. So thank you and thank you for joining us on another Baggage Minute.